Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. Alright guys, let's do these two problems I said. Replace the force and couple system acting on the frame by an equivalent resultant force and specify where the resultant line of action intersects the member AB and then the member BC. So, first thing you gotta do in these problems is find the resultant forces. So, sum of the forces in the X is equal to this force which is 150 times 4 over 5 plus the x component of this force which is this one given by 50 sin of 30 degrees and when you add them all up this is equal to 145 pounds Some of the forces in the y is given by the y component of this force, which is 150 times 3 over 5, and the y component of this force, which is given by 50 cosine of 30 degrees. Apply this into your calculator and you get 133.33 pounds. All right, now we need to find the magnitude of this force given by 145 squared plus 133.33 square, all square rooted. And that is equal to 196.96 pounds. Now to find the angle, simply do the tangent timbers. <clears throat> excuse me, or 133.3 over 145, which is 42.6 degrees. So the force is equal to 196.86 pounds at 42.6 degrees from the positive x-axis. Okay, now to do the first part of the problem, which is about point A and where this force will be applied in the line denoted by the points A and B. Very easy, just find the moment about A, assuming counterclockwise is positive. In my case, you don't have to, but you know. So, first, don't forget to add this moment that's being applied to the whole structure. 500 plus the x component of the first force, which is 150 times 4 over 5, times the 2 feet, which is the arm from point A, and it's trying to turn it counterclockwise, so it's positive. plus 50 sine of 30, which is the x component of the second force, times the arm, which is 6, and it's also trying to turn it counterclockwise. And don't forget the y component of that force, which is trying to turn it clockwise, so it's negative, minus 50 cosine of 30, times 3. Plug all this into your calculator and you're going to get that this is equal to 760.1 foot pounds. Of course, that's the sum of the moments of A, assuming counterclockwise. It's positive. And now, to find that distance from point A to where that is applied in the A and B line, you know that the sum of the moments about A is equal to the forces on the X. The forces on the Y are not really creating any moment. 
because it's on the same line, times that distance, which would be 760.1 is equal to 145 times that distance, and that distance is 5.24 feet from A. So it will be somewhere around here where the force is applied. Now let's do the second part of the problem, which is the same thing, but find where the force would intersect this line denoted by CV. So some of the moments are on B, assuming counterclockwise is positive, and B is right here, is equal to 500, don't forget to add this moment applied to the whole structure, minus 150 times 4 over 5, which is the sex component of the force, times the lever arm, which is 4, and it's trying to turn it clockwise, that's why it's negative, minus 50 cosine of 30 times 3, and that is this force right here, which is trying to turn it also clockwise. Notice that this X component is going straight to B, so it doesn't generate no moment, and this Y component is going away from B, so it's not generating any moment either. So when you play the your calculator, this is 109.9 .9 foot pounds also. That's the sum of the moments at B, assuming counterclockwise is positive. And from here, super easy to find the distance from B times that distance that we're looking for, which is 109.9. .9. This is 133.3. This is the forces in the Y because only a force in the Y will be generating a moment because a force in the X will be moving right away from it. That's why it's the forces on the Y, remember. It's, let me show you. It's this number now, not like in the previous exercise where we actually had to use the X one. Times D. Solve for D and you get 0.82. Now you know that, one second, you know that the force is positive, so it's actually going up. So let me erase it to actually draw it how it is. Since it's positive and you see that, you see that the, the overall moment, moment is actually going clockwise, you know it's to the left. 0.82, which is somewhere right here, more or less. Final answer for the second one.